Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video on Eternals Information Technology Group, which I am now making, a, whatever you call it, as EITG. Um, now, I have worked on this laptop before for a friend of mine, and unfortunately, well, it broke again, but this time it's not as easy of a fix. Simply put, the charger port broke, I replaced it twice so far, and they have learned to be more careful with it. However, I think it's just a flaw in the design of this case that's causing it to break. And instead of it just breaking this part, which I'm not sure if you can see, but if you look at, like, right here, it's off color from the rest of the black. It broke there. As well as the little tabs that actually slides into right here. As a result, I can't just go buy another one of these. And I should have done what I'm about to do in the first place to fix it. So, I am an idiot. I will admit it. We're going to fix it using JB Weld. I have done plenty of research on this. I even mixed up a small batch of it. Tested if it was conductive. It's not. It's more of an insulator. So it would work just fine for the application we're going to use it for here. So what I'm going to wind up doing is putting this in here and then JB welding it in place. Now, yes, if this ever needs replaced, actually replaced because, like, the wires or something in here break, it will have to be cut out. I would use super glue, but it would have to come back to me in a few months again, and I don't want them to have to deal with that. So I'm going with the best fix I can think of. Now, this is a another... Uh, it's that Toshiba laptop again. The Satellite Pro A2 Focus... Come on. There we go. Satellite Pro A210. I'm using my phone right now. Let's see. There we go. EZ2203X. Um, like I said, this poor laptop has been to me... This is the third time. One time was for the fact that the hard drive failed. Second time was because of this, and the fact that the screen stopped working. She wound up bringing me another Toshiba. Most of the parts were interchangeable, so no parts had to get paid for the second repair. Just my time. Um, so, basically, in order to take apart this particular model laptop, you have to take all the screws out, including the ones that are under here. However, this top panel which covers up the keyboard, which the keyboard screws down into here and here, this would cover it. Now, you think you could just pull this up like a strip or anything, but you can't, because if you look, it has a screw. Two of them. Nope. Ah, wow, three. Anyways, one of the screws to get that panel off is hidden in the battery compartment right here. If you do not remove these screws, then the system will not be able to be taken apart all the way. And you'll be scratching your head and get frustrated and probably try to rip it out. I thought I would just note that for you all. So, uh, let's go ahead and get our batch mixed up and put together and see how, if it actually works. Otherwise, we're screwed. And yes, I can fix my mistakes because I have a Dremel. So, I'll see you all in a bit. And so we are back, people. It has been, let's see, what time is it? About 12 hours since I have applied the JB Weld. Now, I'm not going to hook up much. We're going to put the battery in. Battery should be somewhere. Ah, here it is, I think. Yes, Beth, this is my normal mode of working. At least I keep it on one general area. But anyways, back to our saying, we'll pop the battery in. We're not putting the screen or anything in, we're just trying to see if it'll power up in any way, shape, or form. And hook this up. And lastly, plug the charger in. Oh, they're on my knee ankle. <clears throat> I 
and we have charging lights. So, see what happens when we try to pop it on. Fan spins up. System powers on. There is no arcing. There is no nothing. And as you can see, everything is fine. I consider the JB Weld fix a success. Now powered off because there's no hard drive or anything, but just a CPU and RAM in here right now. But if you look, this port's always been a little stiff, but you can push it in and out, in and out, in and out. One last time, just so you believe me. And I It works. So her laptop is fixed. It took me let's see about a half hour to get apart because I kind of forgot how to um, disassemble the top half. Note to self, and always remember to rewatch this video if you ever gotta work on the skin. To take the top out, you gotta take the LCD out first. Oi. But yeah. Uh, just so you know, see that it is this one I was originally working on. Once again, it is the Toshiba Satellite Pro A210-EZ2203X. And if you look in the previous part of the video, there is the model number. And if I can get it to zoom in... Come on, you got this. There we go. There's the serial number. So, I will show that on the next part after I get it all back together. Wish me luck, because I've been up too long again. How do I... So, everyone, uh, the laptop is done. As you can see, it is charging. It is hooked up all the way up to the charger port. Turn it on. I'm not pointing at the thing, because if you look right here, it's too reflective. We all know I'm a fat ass. But, there we go. As you can see, it is working exactly as it should. Um, go ahead and close this. Turn it upside down so you can see it is the laptop. It, as I mentioned before, just to prove that this is not a, you know, a fake repair. Serial number 28356664Q. Hope I got that right. And, uh, it's a satellite pro. Focus, focus. Come on, gambling. Focus. There we go. Uh, satellite pro A210EZ2203X. <sighs> now that I got that out of the way, if you look, it goes in and out, no issues. Well, it's a little stiff, but that's more along the lines of because of the kind of charge port we had to buy. With more repeated use, it will eventually loosen up more and uh, be easier to pull in and out. That's how it already is. But yeah, I wound up using a JB Weld. Spent five dollars on it on Amazon.com, and hey, still works. So we're going to uh, how do I exit out of BIOS on this again? All right, Epton. That's what we've done if anyone has tips on how to, how to lose weight, please post a comment in the comment description. Comment section. Why do I always call it the comment description? Start windows normally. Oi. As you can see, starting windows. And I'm slowly getting rid of my posters. I am currently trying to find EWJ posters and stuff like that for that wall. That's a map of Skyrim, from when I bought a Skyrim Special Edition. And then that wall, I've got big plans for it. All those motherboards I have, which are all functional, for the most part. One's just dead. I'm going to get specialized standoffs and the like, and mount them to the wall as a nice backdrop. 
And then I might move the monitor up there and find a way to power at least one of the boards, you know, just for aesthetics. Now that we're done with that, as you can see, it's fully booted into Windows. Now, this laptop will not take an SSD. My guess for that is it runs on SATA 1 speeds, the SATA 1 interface, uh, which I have had issues with before running SSDs. If y'all remember my IBM PC upgrade, which I turned into a PFSense box, which is currently under my bed running PFSense. Mainly because it's the quietest place I can find. Um, I had issues. I could not get a SATA SSD to run on it unless I used a RAID card. And the good news is I have a RAID card for PCI slots. Not PCIe, but PCI. The original standard. And as you can see, it's running just fine. Running nice and fast. Well, for what it has. So, mouse works, keyboard works. But everything works. And if you look over here, plugged in and charging. So, this is the end of today's video. I'll be doing an outro in a second as soon as I toss a shirt on. Also, it's like 80 degrees in my room and the temps are still going up because my central air is not working right now. I need to turn that on, but it's so loud you won't be able to hear me. And, well, yeah. So, I'll be back in a minute. I love the power of video editing. I apologize for the grainy video. This is on a... Well, this is the other side of this uh, phone. The It's an HTC One X. This camera on this side is crap. But anyways, I hope y'all... See if I better. That works. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. The laptop is over here charging, as you can see by the orange light. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. And it worked as I thought it would. Wow, this camera makes me look bad. But, uh... So, the next set of videos will probably... I'll figure it out. I don't go off scripts, I don't go off schedule. Oh! I got a brand new server set up. Uh, see if I can flip my camera around. Nope, I can't. Damn it. But... This is fully back up and running, Gala server. It has been upgraded to run a Xeon server system, base system. I will do an overview of this, and the good part, the parts only ran me about 100 bucks again. Case is still 70 though, so we have case and power supply, you're looking at another 100. So 200 bucks max for a good server. Uh, but yeah, I will do a update on that, and I'm still packing the storage server with hard drives. But beyond that, I hope y'all have a good day, night, whatever, yada yada yada. Please uh, subscribe, share, like, dislike, it's up to you. But if you subscribe, press the little notification icon so that y'all can get alerted to when I post more videos. I am still doing once a week video postings. I would have done last week's, but I felt, well, I got sick. So, wow, that really messes up my face. Hmm. Wow, don't look in the light, Chris. But I hope y'all, well, enjoyed the video. And now this is, honestly, goodbye. And yes, I'm getting rid of that poster, too.